in what's become a disaster for the ages. Before these fiery scenes emerged from East Palestine, Norfolk Southern train 32N was heading east when it passed devices that looked like this. The train passed three wayside defect de detectors which identify overheated bearings and provide an audible warning to train crews. About 20 miles west of this crash site, an axle on one of the train's rail cars started heating up dramatically, jumping from 38 degrees Fahrenheit to 253 degrees. During a news conference today, NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy said once the train's engineer realized what was happening, he responded the way he was supposed to, according to rules set by Norfolk Southern. He increased the brake application to further slow and stop the train, meaning he responded immediately. But it was already too late. During this deceleration, the wheel bearing failed. 38 rail cars went off the tracks, triggering a toxic stew of thick black smoke and burning chemicals. Hamandi discussed her agency's preliminary findings because she knows people are hungry for accurate information. There's a lot of misinformation on what would have prevented this. This is a community that has been devastated. They deserve to know what happened, how to prevent it from happening again. Hamandi was then asked about the White House's response to the ongoing crisis in East Palestine. Enough with the politics. I don't understand why this has gotten so political. This is a community that is suffering. This is about addressing their needs, their concerns. Now, it's going to be some time before the NTSB's final report is ready. In between now and then, Hamidi says the agency will hold what she calls a rare investigative field hearing. She said it's different from a town hall in that witnesses are going to be there to help investigators get the full picture of just what happened in East Palestine. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, thanks.